sorry guys, I'm back. All right, so I have got two different vocabulary activities. We are, we have done both of these. You're used to these formats, kiddos are. Um, but I want to show parents two different ways that you can do vocabulary if you want to print this at home. Um, some of your kids have one version and some of you have the other version. And if you, if there's a different version that your child wants to use um, that didn't come in your packet, you're welcome to, it's in the document section um, for our unit two, which is Stress Awareness Month. You're welcome to print that or just go online and do it and not print it, so that's fine. So one of them is called Color and Label, and we did this together last week. And just to save some time, because I'm running late on this video today, we don't want to bore you. I've already cut out the words at the bottom. And so we're going to work on matching those. So we have the words students, sleep, and school. Okay. So out of students, sleep, and school, we're going to do this a little bit different than we did last week. Which one do you think describes this picture? Do you think that's school, students, or sleep? This one. Yeah, that's a picture of a guy or maybe a girl sleeping in the bed. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue, enough to make my little piece of paper stick. I'm going to glue it right here. Okay. How about, how about this one at the bottom? We've got two words left, school and students. Do you think this shows a picture of a school or students? Yeah, that's a picture of a school building. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of glue. Put it right there. And put that pit there, that word of school right there with the picture. And then the last one, this should be easy. Do you know what this is? Our last word is students. You think those look like pictures? a picture of students? It sure does. I'm going to use a little bit of glue. And so, if, if you're doing this version, if that's the one that you like to do or you want your kids to do, then they can go back and practice using those words as they're coloring that page. And then one that we did not do last week is the one that matches the definitions. So this week, we are going to be talking about those words, but specifically our four vocabulary words that are on our newsletter, that are with our news this week and that we're going to be talking about are the words like I said I've already cut these at the bottom stress and we kind of talked about what that meant everyone that means not just one person it means everyone in a group feel We've talked about different feelings and how people feel. And this is the word change, which means it's not the same. It's different. Okay? So if you want to do this version of vocabulary, it looks like this, and then the words um, are just at the bottom that you can cut out. So which one of those, and I'll give you two choices at a time, how about that? Do you think means to make different? To make different. Do you think the word everyone or the word change means to make different. 
you think it's the word change or the word everyone? So we talked about the word change means things that are different. So right now our lives have changed a little bit. It's a little bit different. I about lost my glue stick. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue. Okay. And to put it right here, we're gonna match up our little square into our little square. So to change, things are changing. It's different. To change means different. Now, which one of these do you think means all people? We talked about that just a second ago. Do you think stress or everyone? Which one means all the people? Or has a picture of all the people? Yeah, everyone. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue in my box. You guys normally get to help cut and glue and paste. Oh, I didn't quite get it in that box, but it's okay. It's pretty close. Okay. And then we have two more. This says, what you feel when you're worried or uncomfortable about something. Do you think that's feel or stress? Feel or stress? What you feel when you're worried or uncomfortable about something? And this little fellow looks worried or uncomfortable about something, right? That's the word stress, what we're talking about all week. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And put that right there. Oh, very close. Very close to matching that. And the last one. When you experience an emotion or sensation, those are feelings. Feelings are your emotion. Okay? So that's just two different ways to do your vocabulary. Both of them have the same, um, same goal in mind of vocabulary. So however you want to do that, you'll do it this way or that way. Okay, and so before we leave, no, I think we've already run over time. Um, we'll keep going a little bit tomorrow. So we're finished with our news to you, and I'll share a link for an exercise. So that's one way we can deal with stress is to get up and move. This guy looks awfully happy. Tell me. Okay, and so you can do that, and then also if you can, if you want to share something, that makes you happy and less stressed, parents, if you want to share, or if um, your kids want to share, if you want to take a picture, or just let us know in the comments. And I will see you guys in a little bit, and then you'll be hearing from Miss Gaffigan later. Thanks.